And we're going to show off the add or move function of uh, Ubuntu. Now, there's other ways you can install from the internet, but this is really convenient because pretty much every open source program you'll ever need, if you don't feel like using too much Windows based shit, it's going to come straight from here. Just takes a little while to load, so I'll skip ahead. Alright, it's loaded. It only takes a while to load whenever I, uh, you know, am recording. This recording takes a while. Okay, uh, getting fucking spanned right now in Skype, so let's close this. After I check it out, all uh, add remove still loading. That takes a, what add remove does is it scans the entire internet um, and all its stat databases uh, to find out what kind of open source you, programs you can get. So let's see what this is about. Holy shit, I want that cat. Look at it. Just look look at that. He can has cheeseburger. He certainly can has cheeseburger. Okay. Now then, we're going to go ahead and <clears throat> go through my programs I have installed already. We're going to install a few things I don't want. And... Then we're going to see what shit I want to install. Basically, it's a very simple menu system. You go through, you can choose your category. You can, uh, yeah, basically your category is here. And, you know, the actual applications are here. The description is here. You can search for specific applications here. And if you want to show install applications only or whatever, you can click that here. I usually leave it on show all available applications, though, so you can find everything that way. So right now I'm just uh, I'm getting rid of stuff I don't like. So give that. So uh, give me some time to do that. Okay. Now we're going to choose all available applications and actually find stuff to install. So let's install. What's this? 3D modeler. Let's install that. I want a 3D modeler. Give that a second. Okay, there it goes. What else do we have here? A generating uh, color scheme generator. Let's get that. Just in case I want to change the color scheme. Something really custom. What else we got here? Um. Uh, there's gotta be something else I want before I'm done here. Wait, wait, wait. Back up. GPS? I could use that. Because <laughs> I don't know where I am half the time, you know. Just download that. And install it. Okay, now we have a the following change that tells you what you're installing, what you're uninstalling. You just type in your administrator password that you gener you generated when you first installed this, and uh, and then let it go. You can go off and do whatever the hell you want while it's going. Um, I'm just going to mess around with my 3D ses settings for a while while that goes. Uh, and. Uh, Still my Skype chat here. Minimize that. Minimize that. Drag that out. Of, oh wait, I don't even need to drag it that way. I'll just go to a whole new window. And let's look through here. Don't want that. That's by the way, Advent Window Navigator not that good. Lags just a bit. Okay, I'm gonna play a game or something. Yeah, I'll play a little bit of. Hmm, Koyo. Let's play Koyo for a bit. Because I'm bored like that and feel like playing WoW. Kind of taking a break from that. Doink. Alright, so. I've been playing this for a bit while it's installing. It's probably already done, I'm just not paying attention. I'm busy having fun with this. Um. The one that this game's like, it's basically, uh, like Koyo Koyo Pop, basically. Can get it from the add remove applications option, and of course, if you want to play WoW, you just need to get wine and you're set. But I have loads of I love puzzle games, so I had to get this too. It's free, it didn't matter. <laughs> so, let's pick this combination here and owned. All right, I think that install is nearly done, but uh. Hey, level complete. Okay, let's check the install. And it's done right when I checked. And it's reloading the, uh, it's re-scanning the internet to see what else there is. Because 
you know, there might be an uh, update that I wasn't aware of. Um, yeah. So now I have all those programs I just installed. You know, the GPS drive. Now, since I'm the way I'm re recording this, you know, um, it actually the GPS drive doesn't work unless you uh, get some additional software, I think. But yeah, other than that, the GPS drive should work. Um, I just don't have an actual GPS card in my computer, so I can't use this, unfortunately. I wonder. Well, I could just use Google Earth. It doesn't matter. So yeah close that um yeah that's basically it for uh, that um yeah I know I have to record from Windows right now I can't um I haven't found any video editing software yet for Linux that I can install without using terminal because I'm feeling really lazy right now a lot of stuff a lot of the really advanced stuff you have to install from terminal but it should. I could probably get Sony Vegas and then use Wine with that. It'll be no problem. Um, yeah, the Add or Move applications uh, option is really convenient, though. Most of the stuff you can get right from that without having to search through Google or anything like that. So yeah, if you're looking for convenience, um, Linux is definitely a good uh, choice. I mean, if you're a no-nonsense kind of guy, if you don't really game on your computer, if you just browse the internet and do office work, Linux is definitely for you. Even if you game, it Linux is still for you because of line, you know. Linux is overall a really good uh, OS. Uh, I definitely recommend it. More tutorials are coming up soon, so be ready for that. Um, that's about it.